In Hanoi, they may never forget, but they've begun to forgive. Made in the US of A, blue jeans are sold outside the infamous prison known bitterly to American POWs as the Hanoi Hilton. American commerce and popular culture are helping to nudge isolated Vietnam into the global mainstream. At a Hanoi music store that sells counterfeit recordings, the best-known American pop groups are at the top of the demand charts. But Hanoi's austere wartime leaders would never have allowed these famous brand American cosmetics that are now all the rage among the young in the traditionally more conservative northern part of Vietnam. Traffic's again hectic in Cam Tien Street, which was badly bombed by US warplanes 22 years ago. It's the path to a movie theater showing True Lies, the first American-made film officially approved by the communist authorities for screening in post-war Vietnam. With Hanoi and Washington moving gingerly towards normal relations, one might wonder if True Lies was the right introduction to Hollywood. The film is certainly instructive about life in contemporary America, One war still endures in Vietnam. It's the American Cola conflict. Still, it's a nice war, relaxed, civilized. Vietnam's had more than enough of the awful kind.